Here's another annual killer fish, Spectralobius brosure. Now, the hatching for this, the incubation period is at least three to five months. Um, they were only collected a month ago, so I know for a fact that they won't be ready. I've had a quick look at the bag and I can see that the eggs are not ready. So I'm gonna place them in storage and in about three to four weeks time, I will inspect them again. Now remember when placing these eggs in storage, make sure it's warm above 24 degrees Celsius and make sure it's dark. It seems that light and cool temperatures can hinder the actual incubation of these eggs. While I've been checking all my eggs, I thought I would check up this species as well. Um, they're not due for hatching for, I reckon, another month. But uh, looking at the pizza and looking at the eggs, I can see that they're vied up, which is a bit unusual. The shocking things about these eggs is that they're absolutely tiny. And to try and see if they've eyed up is very, very difficult. Now I've used a three, three and a half times magnifier and even that has been difficult to spot. So I'm hoping I'm right. So I'm going to pour this lot now into a bowl of water and hope they hatch. If I've done this too early, there's a chance that I might wipe out the entire batch. Just to show you how small the eggs are, I'm going to point them out for you. That's them there. Yes, tiny. You can't even not, you can't even see it on this camera. There. They are really small. All right, so I've poured all the eggs into the bowl now, and if nothing hatches in the next three days, then I will dry them again, and store them in a warm cupboard until I can see the eggs eyed up again. I'm not sure about this batch. I think I've done it too early. So this is day one of spectral bias. Brosseau hatching. Um, I was actually panicking. I thought I'd maybe put the eggs in too early, but I can see a couple of fry swimming around, so I'm going to try and rescue them at the bowl. I'm, I'm still not convinced that many of the eggs are going to hatch, but we'll see by tomorrow what happens. Okay, so on day one, I have only collected two fry. Now they're absolutely minute. You can see one of them right smack bang in the center of this clip. Now I've only collected two fry on the first day and they're absolutely tiny. Now I'm going to have to feed them green water and infusoria for the first couple of days. Then moving them on to paramecium for another two, three days. And only after about a week and a half, I suspect I'll be able to move them on to brine shrimp. So I'm going to take the rest of the eggs and I'm going to leave them out in the sunlight and hopefully that will trigger the rest of them to hatch. Now, as you can see, this species is a lot smaller than Hypsula bias. So they are very delicate and you have to be very careful with them. Okay, this is day two of Brousseau. Um, I just see one fry at the moment swimming around there on the left hand side. I'm going to try and catch it and then we'll find out if there are any more. Okay, so that's a total of four now. I can tell you this is an extremely delicate fish and I would not recommend it for beginners. The fry are most probably one of the smallest I've seen yet. And they will waste away within hours if they haven't got the correct food. As you can see, the bottom of this container has got green water in it and it's got infusoria and paramecium. So even then, it was very, very difficult to raise this fry. Once you can get them past the five day mark, you will be fine. So I've just removed two more fry on day three. And I suspect that's the end of it now. That's been a total of six fry. So it's been a bit of a disaster. So either I placed the eggs in the water too early. Or the eggs just don't want to hatch. 
So I'm going to dry the peat now in a little net and then I'm going to rebag it and I will try again in two weeks time.